So if you don't know already, my Tassimo died on me, literally dead. So I think I may have broke it a little bit more myself, but I just wanted to make a little video on how not to fix the Tassimo coffee machine. I'm going to go into more detail, um, I'm going to especially go into the actual insides workings of the actual Tassimo machine so that you guys can actually see, I know you Tassimo lovers can actually see what's inside the machine and kind of how it works and what not to do because I actually electrocuted myself. So, story time. So, this is what happened. I went to make my Tassimo as normal, I lifted it up, I put the pod in, I closed it down, and I went to actually obviously start. I checked the water, there was water in the back of the tank here. This tank was filled up with water, I slotted it down like normal. You know the normal way that you guys who have Tassimo coffee makers know how to make Tassimo, right? So, you know the barcode in here? Well, it reads and scans it. So, I put the cup on, and it gave me about like this much coffee and I was like this ain't no espresso this is supposed to be one of those grande XL large Americano things and I'm thinking there's like this much coffee in the bottom something's not right here so I lifted it up I took the pod I discarded the pod and getting back to the barcode that's in here I thought well maybe it's a bit dirty so I got a cloth gave the barcode a wipe which most of the time that's what the reason is it's not reading the barcode of the pod so I'll give it a little uh, wash like that, absolutely fine, try it again, same thing, it's giving me like this much coffee and I thought something's not right here. But I hadn't used the line scale tablets that you get, because you can get these actual tablets, I'll drop the link for those in the description below as well, but you can get these line scale tablets, what you do is you just take off the water tank on the back, you pop the line scale tablet in, and then you let it run through the cycle, the cleaning cycle as normal, but obviously that's for another video, which I do have another video on that. So at the end of this video, that video will appear. So you can just you know click on that to see about that one. But it turned out it was not the lime scale. And because I, I give it a clean, I also took the tank off. This is why I shouldn't have tested a coffee machine for any tech. So I got, I got the machine out, did the water out, and I thought there's this little black. Um, like magnetic thing in the back here. That was that's fine. You can see it's moving. There's a spring here, so I filled the tank up with water. And then what I do is I put my finger up onto the spring, and the water was coming out. So I'm thinking the water's flowing, so the problem is not the tank. Let's try and eliminate the problem. So also I did check. You've got the bit here where the water. There's still some water in here actually. Um, <laughs> there is actually water in here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually water inside this bit. So I thought, right, so I give this a wipe out just in case there was some lime scale stuff in there. Because I hadn't actually done the lime scale cleaning tablets for a good few months. Now, before I was doing the lime scale cleaning and putting it through a cycle, like maybe it depends how much you use the machine. I feel like if you're not a heavy user of the machine, maybe every two to three months is okay to run the lime scale and clean the machine. If you're a heavy user of the machine and you literally live on this machine and you drink coffee every single day, I would recommend definitely using the lime scale tablets and the lime scale discavers in the back of the water tank, flush it through the system once a month. So getting back to that, that was not the problem. So there's me thinking, it's just not working, what am I going to do? Because I have had this machine now about, it's about five years, so I got this machine from John Lewis about five years ago. And it, has, it served me well, so I thought, do you know what? If the machine's dead, the machine's dead, so, you know, I might as well just crack it open, have a look at the internal workings, just see whether I can fix the machine. So I did read a couple of articles on the internet, like on Reddit, on other various websites like that, and some of the things, I'm warning you guys, seriously, some of the things that you read on Reddit and other websites, I am begging you, please, just ignore them. Honestly, if you want the Tassimo coffee machine fixed or repaired, please take it to a Bosch dealership, or if it's under warranty, send it back to Bosch. Do not 
attempt to do what I did because I actually genuinely electrocuted myself on the machine. So let's get back to this is what I don't because these are the sides. The side panels will sit on here like this and this. So these side panels actually come off. Most people think you just clip it off. You can actually break the little plastic tappers on here. There's an actual way to do it and the way to I actually, I'm just telling you for like purpose for other purposes. But honestly do not try to attempt to fix the machine yourself but I slotted a screwdriver up the side and then what you do is you push the panel forward like this. It doesn't come off like this or like this. It literally is, it slides on and off the side like this but you've got to pop a screwdriver underneath to open the little plastic flap and then you like just slide it along like that. So I did that both sides. Let's put those back in here. So as you can see now we've got the internal workings of the machine here. So I can get a little bit closer. Um, what I did was I read on Reddit now this was kind of right what the person kind of a bit of a 50-50 scenario here because the person who wrote on the machine was correct in what he was saying because there was some coffee stuck, like granules of the coffee. Do you know when you get the Tassimo pods and you can see the coffee inside? Well, that was stuck somehow inside the pipe. It was like clogged up. So there was coffee stuck, like the granules, stuck inside this pipe here. Now, I kind of want to get a bit more round so I can actually see what I'm showing for you guys here. Now, if you can see, I'm going to try and bring it a little bit closer. I will do a zoom up as well, but this little grey box is the motor. Now this, com this this little motor does come off, but you've got to like disconnect the wires and stuff here to take the motor off. But this is what the guy was talking about. There was a pipe here. Now this pipe is like for you know when you get the this one's what you know when you get the milk? Like the separate milk pod. That milk pod goes through this pipe and that is what that pipe down there is for. Now a couple of the times, I'm more of a, an Americano black coffee guy, I hardly ever buy the ones with the milk pots unless I'm buying like a gingerbread latte then that's absolutely perfect because it's going to use the, um, the milk pots. So it was like there was dry powdered milk stuck in this pipe. So I read on Reddit that if you basically twist the pipe and squeeze it, so basically what you're doing is like, do you know when you get a straw and you like, you squeeze it all the way down like this? Everything that's stuck inside will come out the end of it. This is exactly how the guy explained it already. So, but without undoing the pipe, I kind of squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down. Fine, that pipe cleared. Now this one here is where the coffee was stuck. So, what I've done is, as you see, that pipe clearly comes off. And I can do a little zoom up. I'm going to bring it closer to you guys. So you've got this pipe here, this is where the coffee was stuck inside. But it was only like about this amount of dried like coffee. So so what I did is I got it at the top there and just like held it with one hand tight so it doesn't go back up, but just squeezed it and squeezed it and squeezed it like this, like this, like this. And you can see all the dried coffee coming out of the end of the pipe and literally holding it onto one hand and squeezing it with the other like this. Literally, all the coffee has come out, and I'm like, well, as you can see, there's no coffee left inside this pipe because I've emptied it, which is how it should be because it should be flush. And then what I did is I popped it back on to that part there. Just gonna do that. Popped it right on like that. Back how it goes. Now there's actually another. It's <laughs> how bad I am. Well, this was the actual part that I had to pull out really quickly when I electrocuted myself. But this part goes in the motor like this somehow. Is that way around? Like that. There we go. So if you can see that, there's like this part. Now I can see from this side, but that's the part I had to pull out. Because that's basically what's powering the electricity through the machine to the motor on the other side. Now, I think it is a well known fact. Do not mix water with electricity. It is a big no, no, no. Now, what the guy told me to do on Reddit and any of the articles I read, they were kind of true in what they said. This is the point I'm trying to get across to you guys. They were true in what they said about the coffee being stuck 
and the bits being stuck inside the pipes was absolutely correct. But in, in all fairness, what I'm trying to say actually is do not attempt to do it yourself unless you obviously are a Bosch specialist and you know about these machines. Just don't do it guys, honestly. Um, it's okay reading about it, it's okay knowing the knowledge of what the problem is, but stepping up to another level to try and fix it yourself, do not even do it, don't even attempt, don't even risk, because generally I could have even lost my life, you know. I actually electrocuted myself. 240 volts of electricity going through my body is not good, guys, <laughs> seriously. I put it on a table so there was nothing surrounding the actual machine. So there was nothing if the machine set on fire, there was nothing else to set on fire because I put it, you know, like, so there was nothing around it. Plugged it in and I thought, should I put these sides back on and then attempt to make the machine? That probably would have been a wiser idea actually in what I done, not telling you guys to do that. I just want to make that clear. Do not do it. I cannot say it more clearer than that. So what I should have done myself, even though I was wrong in doing it, is put the cover back on, then try to attempt to make the coffee again, rather than my thought that was going through my head was, let's leave it open, let's see the pipes working, etc, etc. These covers are there for a reason. That reason being that the pipe if it exploded or came off or got detached whilst making the coffee, that's a protection, that's a barrier, and that is pretty sturdy, you know? Both of them are, and I should have done that on both sides. I would have had a little bit more protection, I would not have got electrocuted. So what happened was, I basically put the pod in, it's all plugged in, it's all lit up, I pressed the power button, now to be honest with you, I actually ran to the other side of the kitchen and I'm stood well back from the machine and I'm watching it and it's making the whirring noise like the sort of whirring noise it makes when it's like reading the barcode and then what happened was I started seeing smoke come from this motor here now at the time I'm thinking is that the steam because you automatically think you know when like the machine's making its coffee and the pod hasn't finished its full cycle if you actually lift that, you can see the sort of steam rising from the heat of the hot water. I'm thinking, is that what's happening here? Is steam? It was actually smoke. Actually, generally smoke coming off of it. And as I went to approach the machine a little bit more, this, with the pressure of what's going on here, and there it is. I don't know whether you can see it. I'm going to do a close-up at the end of this video, so you can actually see inside. So, any of you guys actually want to see inside your Tassimo coffee makers, there is no need to open them, play with them, have a look inside. I'm giving you exclusive access inside the workings of a Tassimo from a fool that actually opened the machine himself. Do not do it guys, seriously, I cannot repeat myself. I'm actually going to put that in the description. Do not do this, okay? Right, so. The, the pipe actually just, I can't, it's actually stuck on that, but because of the pressure of what the pipe done with the pipe burst off like this and it's spurting water everywhere and there's like little bits of coffee dripping. Now, what you've got to bear in mind is it's plugged in, there's electric pumping through it, this pipe's hanging all over the place, this pipe is pumping water all over, and I'm thinking the water is dripping onto all the electrics, more smoke's coming off. The thing that was running through my mind was get to that machine fast, get it turned off, either get it unplugged, turn the power source off quickly, and then just leave it alone until it sort of cools down and all stops smoking, etc. Or I would have had to get a fire blanket or just literally just run out of the kitchen. So what I done was literally, literally I run back towards the machine. As I was approaching the machine, this thing was flying everywhere. I don't know what made me do this, but I grabbed hold of this to try and stop it from like squirting everywhere like this. I thought if I can control that or hold the end of the pipe, then that's going to stop the water coming out. As I was doing that, I've literally come, I've turned the machine this way, grabbed the end of that, 
and I've accidentally touched the metal inside when I was trying to put the pipe back on and I'm thinking you idiot, you such a fool, I should have just gone straight for the plug socket, pulled it out. Generally a story guys, I'm like never going to do this ever again. So I've literally just tried to put it back on like this and as I was doing that I've touched the metal pipes inside. Now not only are these metal pipes got electric running through it, they also get very, very, very hot. Literally, there was like a burn mark on the bottom of my finger here because it was so hot, the metal inside. It's obviously hot for a reason because it makes your drinks hot. So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of the machine, the inside, the full workings. So you don't even need to open your machines, you know. Please, guys, do not even attempt to do what I've done. All the numbers, descriptions for the warranty and how to contact Bosch are in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up and guys, God bless, thanks for watching.